What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we got two new accessories from Harbor Freight and Tool. This new five outlet heavy duty power strip with two USB ports. This is a new item to modify your five drawer cart or really any tool cart in the garage. And this one is specific to the uh, tool cart itself. This is a folding side tray for tools. So I wanted to go over my five drawer tool cart with you guys really quick. If you guys are aware, before you can open any of the drawers, you have to pull the button. Also, you have to have the top open. Now, I know a lot of people see this as a downside. Now, if you're like me, I actually think that is a positive note because a lot of people end up doing just this, putting stuff on top of that toolbox. And when you do that, now you don't really have access to any of this stuff in here because, well, you just closed the lid and I like using the top of my toolbox. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here real quick. Um, I have it all organized, all labeled and everything like that. I kind of went from my other toolbox, this big boy Milwaukee one that I got recently, this old school one and this piece of crap that I need to throw away over here. I also have this one that I'm probably gonna get rid of soon too. Um, also been doing a little bit of stuff with the Milwaukee Packout, trying to get that sorted, and I wanna do like a mobile setup with that. This thing has been absolutely awesome. I've really outfitted this to kind of be my one-stop shop for everything that I need when I'm working on my cars. So starting here on the top, I mostly work on BMWs and European cars, and starting here on the top, you know, I have all of my Allen wrenches, or I should say my Allen sockets up here. Then I have some of my torque stuff. I have all my 3 8 sockets and quarter inch sockets. I'm actually using all the Milwaukee stuff. I love the way these little trays pop out and you'll notice a running theme here with uh, lots of Milwaukee stuff. But on the left hand side, I have like basically all my flathead screwdrivers, a couple of the um, square drivers, you know, a couple little magnet guys, a couple pry bars, that sort of thing. Um, absolutely love these. These are a must. A little 3 8 fuel ratcheting wrench. I got the quarter inch drive ratcheting wrench, noticed by the quarter inch drive sockets. And I also have the extended 3 8 ratcheting wrench. These are all fuel tools. So those are all the brushless ones. This one is actually like my go-to. I use this the most. Uh, then I have this over here. This is the new right angle uh, impact impact wrench. And I have all my like Phillips screwdrivers, a couple more pry bars, some little, you know, uh, Torx driver, thing like that. And ball joint separators. Moving on. I got all these things kind of labeled up and I'm just gonna go do an overview real quick and then we'll get to the new stuff. Um, got some old hammers, some uh, Mac hammers, a little ball peen, got a little you know, body hammer that I leave chilling up there. Couple sets of vice grips. Got all my channel locks, couple pairs of pliers, pair of dikes, pair of strippers, and a pair of crimpers. Over in this one, very important, the rubber mallet. Then I have the little gasket scraper right here, a little chingadera tool for uh, removing clips and stuff like that. A couple little picks and things, some razor blades, a few Allen keys in metric sizes, small joint separator. This is actually for a bike, but I find out that I use this kind of often with this little keyway. It's a lock ring tool and you know, a coil over tool. Coming on down here, we got all the wrenches. These are all ratcheting wrenches. Assortment from 22 all the way down to, I think it's eight. Yeah, eight millimeter. Uh, that is my metric side. Then I have the standard size here, going quarter inch to one inch drive. I have a lot more standard stuff over there and bigger tools and things like that. But for the most part, this is what I use. Then I got my nice digital Mac torque wrench in 3H drive. I ended up using this one and purchased this one because it goes very low. Uh, most torque wrenches, you know, start above, I don't know, 30, 40 foot pounds or, you know, Newton meters, kind of up there. And I found that a lot of BMW bolts like torque down to, you know, 15 Newton meters. So I needed something a little bit more sensitive. All right, and then we go in down here. We got a voltmeter, a little fluke guy. I got the line wrenches over here. Got some Mac tool snap ring pliers, a couple Milwaukee items here. Then I have all my impact socket. This is my standard ones. These are all Mac. And then I have all my metric ones just chilling right here. Uh, and then I have, like I said, more in the other one. Also, what I'm able to do is have a little row down here on the bottom with all of my nice Milwaukee stuff. And it, it just makes it very easy access. So I have the half inch extended amble high torque 
This thing I use always for pulling off lug nuts and things like that, or any items that I need to bring out a big boy. The mid torque, this is kind of the go to for suspension products, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of suspension bolts will be on there a little bit tight. I think this thing is 650 or 600 nut busting torque um, on this guy. And you know what? It'll even take off a crankshaft bolt and things like that. It will take a little bit longer than the big one, but it will do it. This is probably my absolute favorite. This is the M12 Stubby. Absolutely love this thing gets in tight places, 12 volts, and it's a stubby guy. Then I have a nice little angle grinder. I got the little multi-tool right here. We got a regular impact driver for screws and such. Then I'm loving these. These things totally replace any sort of air you might have. These are great. The right angle grinder. I know people ask me which one I use more. I end up using the right angle grinder more than I do this one, which is the straight angle grinder. Uh, both of these tools are absolutely awesome. But, you know, they have their purposes. I just find myself using the right angle more. Going on down here, we got a little hacksaw, little M12 Sawzall. They call this the hacksaw because it's a little bit smaller than a regular Sawzall. Yeah, that kind of rounds out what's on the cart. So, now let's add those accessories because I know everybody wanted to see that, you know. You got to you gotta see what's in the cart to know what we want to add. Oh, there's two chargers down there also. And I have my own little charging station, but, you know, this will be very nice. This is a new addition. There are two rapid USB charging ports on this thing, which is very cool. Uh, 3.1 amps of output on those USBs, which is absolutely awesome for charging your cell phone or your GoPro or whatever. Let's rip into this. All right, so this is where it gets cool. Now guys, they make these in all of the colors. I'm pretty much just gonna put mine, probably just chilling here and I look how easy that install is. It's got some nice magnets on it. Yeah. That is nice and solid on there. It feels very good. And we can just plug in and have our little surge protector on here and have all of our outputs, which is absolutely awesome. So this thing is supposed to have 19, yeah, about 19 pounds of pull, which honestly, it's pretty good. It is. Uh, it has these little pieces right here which are rubberized too so it doesn't mar your toolbox up but yeah that is great and then you'll notice these side pieces here honestly really well thought out now you see that mine is red they make them in all of the colors that you might use when you buy the harbor freight toolbox because this thing comes in i don't know i'd like to say six colors what is it blue green white orange red yellow sounds right to me Look at that, and then, boom. All right, we can just put that on there. Now we have a little power strip if we ever need it. And then I can plug in my chargers. Chilling down here, I may actually like mount up a charger. I don't know, but yeah, I can, you know, plug in a charger up here now, keep it down at the bottom. If I ever need to extend some power, I can. And I have way too many chargers. I got a bucket full of chargers that I, I honestly don't need. I have too many because I got a lot of tools. We're gonna install this second accessory. I'm pretty sure it just goes right here where these bolts are, but this is a little tray. And honestly, I was a little bit confused when I first got my cart. I thought it came with this. Uh, I, I just wasn't, I wasn't aware that it didn't. Every picture that I saw, you know, I had it on there. This is the uh, five drawer number two or whatever. And we'll go ahead and install this real quick on here. Pretty much just mounts up right here and folds down real nice. Doesn't take up a lot of room and then pops out when you need it to. Look at that. You know, honestly, I may end up using one of these trays for something at work, like a computer stand, uh, something mobile. That would be, this would actually be really awesome. I, I thought of an idea, so. Uh, maybe I'll have to pick, an, pick up another one of these down the line. There are carriage bolts right here, which means there's obviously no bolt head side. It's just a little square insert. And then I think these are, I want to say 13 millimeters on this side. So we'll go ahead and bust those off. Okay, so it did come with new hardware, so you don't have to reuse 
your old hardware here as you have a couple more pieces of metal to go through. I think now you got what, three layers of metal to go through. Nice thing about working on a toolbox is hopefully you got all your tools right there. You're not gonna need to go far, which is great. But yeah, like I'm saying, I mean, I absolutely love having this little toolbox. I pull it out to my car and I'm just able to work just right from it. I don't have to come into the garage and grab tools. Um, it's a great way to put your most commonly used items in and just the fact that it rolls around and all that stuff, it just, it comes in so handy. Like I wish I would have bought one of these a long time ago. I don't, I don't know why I didn't, honestly. I really don't know why I didn't. It just helped me get organized with all of this stuff and it's, it's badass. I absolutely love it. So we got the new hardware here. So it's a little bit longer, like I was saying. Literally, we're just pulling up that piece and uh, we can go ahead and just put the bolts in. We could try to do it this way. It'll make it a little bit easier, but we have to try in the process not to smash our hands. The install could not be easier. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it right there. Just pop that up once you get the top two in. Very straightforward and simple install. And then because these are carriage bolts, you don't have to have, worry about, you know, having anything on this side. And we can literally just pop this up, boom, and just tighten these down with a 13 milli. And we're good to go. Look at all that extra workspace. See, that's great. Now you can actually put stuff there if you need to, and you can still access everything in your tool cart, which is absolutely awesome. And I, I love that. That's just, it's so cool. Um, because like I was saying, you know, some people do use this area. Uh, people will put some sort of, you know, slip cover on this so it doesn't scratch it up. But I really have not used that as a worktop. I've just made sure to kind of punch it over in the hole over there and keep it closed. It keeps the dust out. It's really nice, honestly, you know, a lot of people defeat this and I'll, I'll do a modification video on this soon too. Um, showing mods that you can do to this cart uh, that make it a little bit more user friendly for people that I guess don't allow that time to get used to its quirks or its features. Um, we can defeat those and I'll, you know, I'll show that down the line, but yeah, honestly, this is awesome. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. Let me know what your tool cart looks down below. Uh, if you think I'm missing anything, let me know as well. Later guys and wrench on.